Throughout the majority of the history of the Earth, global temperature has been significantly higher than it is today. There have been no polar ice caps throughout the majority of the history of the Earth, and sea level has been significantly higher in the past. For example, in the mid-Cretaceous period, uh, towards the end of the age of dinosaurs, much of the east coast was underwater, and an inland sea covered much of the interior of North America. If all of the ice were to melt from the Arctic, the Gre Greenland, Antarctica, and glaciers, sea level would rise about 150 feet, and 15% of the United States would be underwater, including the entire states of Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Jersey, Delaware, Florida, and Louisiana, and the cities of New York, Philadelphia, Miami, Seattle, and San Francisco. By the end of the 21st century, the rise in sea level is expected to impact the lives of millions of people. In the 21st century, global temperature is predicted to increase between 1.4 and 5.8 degrees Celsius, which would increase sea level somewhere between 9 and 88 centimeters. During the period of 1993 to 2003, sea level rose at a rate of 3.1 millimeters per year. Sea level is expected to rise between 0.18 and 0.59 meters by the end of this century. An increase of 25 centimeters would have serious consequences on the delta regions of the Nile, Ganges, and Yangtze rivers and would require the evacuation of many small island nations of the Indian Ocean and Pacific. A one meter rise in sea level would flood many coastal areas, such as the beaches of the eastern United States, Florida, Louisiana, and North Carolina. The Louisiana coast would, my, would lie 30 miles inland from its present location. A number of cities such as Venice, Bangkok, and Taipei would be threatened. 80% of the Marshall Islands would be underwater. A one meter rise could flood up to 15% of arable land in Egypt, 11% of the land area of Bangladesh, and require raising most of Miami's bridges and reconstructing up to one third of Miami's area. More than 100 million people would be displaced. Some coastal areas depend on underground freshwater aquifers, such as Miami, which would be threatened by salt water should sea level rise. A sea level rise of one meter, uh, which is predicted by the end of this century, would have a devastating impact on many people living near the coast.